I'm stoked. I have a nice, beautiful, overcast morning, cloud cover. Feels wonderful. <laughs> I don't like to say that, you know, necessarily that I like winter, but this has been an especially challenging summer for me, so with back pains and and heat problems and being out of shape and dealing with lots of different health issues, the challenge has been to just simply enjoy each day for what it is that God has brought my way. And I like this, you know, is that when I expect it to be another sunny day or whatever, and suddenly God brings this cloudy kind of like weather from the ocean brought in by the breeze and ah, oh, it just thrills me because, I don't know, I like change. I mean, don't get me wrong, by the end of the day it'll probably be 90 or 100, but for now, it's cool, <laughs> literally. So how's your day with God? Let's see what he would say to both of us. Wonderful life. I am your Lord, Lord of your lives, controller of your days, your present and your future. Leave all plans to me. Only act as I bid you. You have entered now into a God-guided life. Think what that means. God taught, God guided, God provided. Is anything too wonderful for such a life? Do you begin to see how wonderful life with me can be? Do you see that no evil can befall you? Often people, when circumstances turn against them, or the storms of life come, then they, they treat it as, oh, God doesn't love them anymore, or somehow God is punishing them. And in some cases that may be true, but the reality is, unless you ask him, how would you know the difference? Because sometimes storms of life come because they are meant to not be punishment, but be rather the manifestation of God's teaching tool in your life to bring you to a realization that you need God always and every day in all things that you do, not just in the things where you commit it to the Lord and run off and do what you want or say, God bless you and you know go be you know, a Christian in name only, but a Christian is a person who has a dynamic, personal, interpersonal relationship with God that says, hey, you know, in the good times, God, I thank you and praise you and rejoice in it. In the bad times, I don't just run to worship and say, oh, I'm going to worship and worship and worship so that I feel better. But it says, thank you, God, for this too, because I know that you are in it and you're teaching me and guiding me and abiding with me and providing for my salvation by teaching me the way I should go. And sometimes it's a matter of reaping what you sow, and you realize that, you know what, I did this. God helped me to get through it. For even that which has been my own fault, I pray that you'll help me with the consequences of my own actions. And sometimes it's sin when you need to ask God for forgiveness, to be forgiven, and to be cleansed from all unrighteousness. There is always a time and a place to turn everything to the Lord in prayer. And that's the way that we should be daily when we walk with Him. We should have an attitude of always being able to converse. I mean, if he's here for your help, as well as, well as your Savior, if he's here as your God, as well as your friend, if he's here as a father, then when you have need, where do you go on earth? Do you turn to your father or your mother, a friend or a neighbor? Or do you turn to God first? and see what he would say. I think if you're like me or anyone else, you turn everywhere else except to God first. But also if you're like me, you're working on developing that constancy in prayer that you would automatically turn to God and know that he's there waiting to see what you will do. That will you ask him so you can receive? Will you seek him so that you can find? Will you knock on the door so that the door would be open to you of all that he has in store? Or will you seek another way? And will you walk away from what God has opened with his hands to provide for you, to abide with you, who literally died for you? Put that way, it seems pretty simple. I just wish we could put it into life all through the day.
give it a shot today. My work.